Gevorg Manaki and the Ukrainian was involved in a crackerjack of a boat against the Paul Yakubowski in the number two seat, who's had a fairly easy passage to say the least. He got a bye through the first round. And he's gonna have to be ready to, to box here, David, because Manakian is a handful. Really enjoy watching Manakian. Number two seed. They change my um, forecast. These World Championships, where he's been a couple of times before, he got to round one, 2009, quarterfinals four years ago. And after a hiatus, he's back in a World Championships at the quarterfinal stage once again. Manakian, then, the southpaw and the Reds. He's up. A power puncher, and when he lets those punches go, he can be fairly aggressive with it. Caught Jakubowski with some hefty left hands. Yeah, just sits on that back foot and unleashes them. That big left hand from the southpaw stance, and Levitt is aware of that because you can see he's moving to his left, away from the punch. Already you can see the power of Manaki and he managed to land with the right hook. Levitt looks like a good mover. It's gonna be a tricky one for Manaki and tonight. Levitt, he knows what he's doing, he's keeping to his left, firing in, and then tying Manaki in up. With a bit of big championship experience, he's never gone beyond the quarters of the World Championships. But he did get to beyond that semi-finals in the Olympics in London 2012. A bronze medal behind Anthony Joshua in the Battle of the Big Men. Nice right hand from Levin. No holding. Break. Break. Step back. He's doing enough to nick the round so far, Levis. Manakian struggling to pin him down. Jakubowski suited Manakian down to the ground because he was there to be hit, Levis. He, he might. I suppose Levis didn't do too much himself. Maybe not enough in the judges' eyes, like I was saying, just trying to nick the rounds, and the judges want to see some dominance, but I don't think neither dominated that one. Stop! Dad! Box. They were just asking for some of the spray to be wiped off with the towel before he went out, and you can see him constantly circling to his left. Avoiding that big left hand. There's the power punch in Maniki and he's trying to land to the body. Swing away in the centre of the ring. Yeah, every time Maniki enters an exchange, you hold your breath because you're expecting something to happen. Break. Break, watch, watch your head. Only 22, Manikian, five years younger than Levitt. He just walked onto a right hand. There he does put every. Watch your head. And no punches Manikian. Break, it is good to see. Yeah, he's committed to the cause, there's no doubt about that. And his spot in these championships, that takes that bronze medal in Baku early on this year. It's a good jab from Levin. Yeah, Levin Levin's no trying to spoil his way through the bounce, and like I said, I thought he'd done enough to nick the first round. 
Manakian coming into it more, making it his own kind of fight in this round. Step back. Right hand from Levitt. Yeah. Break. Step so back. he is having his Step own back. success, Stop. Levitt, and he... Break. Break. Step back. Step he'll back. be positive in his mind. He'll think he's doing a good job. But the judges are thinking otherwise. If the first round's anything to go by. No holding. Key and target the body there, he knows. It's an easier target than that head. It's constantly moving. Well, Manakin needs to remain calm. Levitt's trying to frustrate him. Yeah, it's a little bit of a test for Manakin to see what his temperament's like in these situations. Break, step back. Break, Game Manakin missing. So wants to land one of those big punches. There's uh, some frustration there from him. How will the judges see this one? Much in it in a lot of the contests today. They've been really close, and that's what. There you go. Level on one of the scorecards, but Manakin in front on the other two, and that is where the bout looks likely to be decided. Yeah, that's what you're going to see more and more at this stage of the competition, is bouts which are really difficult to score more so than even early on, because the real quality boxers are in the ring against each other, and there's not much between them at all. Yeah, this has been quite scrappy, clear. So the landed punches have been very, very thin on the ground, few and far between. So it's very much a case of what you prefer. But I don't actually think that Manakin has landed a headshot yet. No, he hasn't. That, that's a good point. And Levitt's just started this round really well. Fired in and landed a couple of shots out of a handful, so he started well. And he's just, oh, see oh. that little right hand he's just landed as well. He's, he's sneaking oh. some good little shots in, Levitt. And Manikin slapped out with the back of the glove in frustration. Stop. Stop. He probably won't know that he's in front and two of the scorecards. Kazakhstan, watch grids, heads up. I think Manikin, Manikin, Punches are at the strongest stop, stop. when they're fully extended no or in mid-range, so Levitt is just getting as close as he can to him. So he's inside. It's, it's, it's when he's at long range where the danger is. A minute and a half to go in this one. Levitt just picking his punches, that was a good short right hand. Break, good right break, hand, he's done back. a great job of sticking to the tactics of frustrating the Ukrainian. Watch it. Watch there it. he has, that constant threat of that big, Ukraine, no huge holding. left hand that Manakian throws and he's just circled off to his left no and took it away from him completely. Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating for Manakian, it's, it's frustrating, I suppose, for boxing fans to watch him. It, Stop, stop. Probably seems like it's a bit of hit and run, really, from Heads the up. Kazakh boxer. Heads up. Yeah. But it needs oh, most in. at this type of level. You do whatever it takes to win. I know it's, it's great to look good and to, to look pretty, but Box. Levitt wants the result more than anything, and he's in with a shout, I think. I think. Oh, Manikin walked into right hand. Just for body language. I think Manikin thinks he's losing this. Definitely losing this round. Oh, Manikin's starting to look tired. 
He looks up. He is tired. He looks up to the big screen over our shoulders to see how much time is remaining. Shoulder power will probably be decreasing in his punches. Levitt has done a fantastic job in this last round, especially. And throughout, for me, I think he's done enough to win this contest. Manikin looks over his shoulder again. That's unlike him. It's not the Manikin we saw in the previous contest. He's not had things his own way. He trudges back to his corner. And I think he feels that this has gone against him. Yeah, and don't forget that contest he, he had with Jakubowski, that will have took something out of him because that was an absolute brutal contest. That was a war, wasn't it? He threw a load of power punches. Yeah. Here he was frustrated. That was a, if Levitt had produced that round in every other round, yeah. he'd have won the bout convincingly. Yeah. He was a bit yeah. more proactive, wasn't he? He was yeah. a bit too negative in the first two rounds, perhaps. Great round. The winner in ring B, by the way of points, in the red corner, representing Ukraine, Ivor Manakian. Manakian is pleasantly surprised. I don't think he thought he was going to get that. That's a silly Levitt. Uh, disagree with that one, the ball. But Levitt, from the north, he, he'll consider himself unlucky there, and he stuck to his game plan really well. Levitt got the final round on all three scorecards. There was one point in it on every single scorecard. 2-1, though, to Manakuni. That's a bit of a surprise that Tegevo Manakian has won it. Well, we look forward to seeing his style in the semi-finals. Elsewhere, Abdullayev has beaten Peralta. So it's Savon versus Abdullayev and Tyshenko versus Levitt. And I think that's the one, two, three, and four seeds all through to the semi-finals. So it's going, uh, bar Levitt, sorry, bar Levitt being out, that's gone to the, the seeds with Manakian through at the expense of Levitt. So, uh, competition shaping up as it was expected to largely on paper and we'll bring all of that to you in the coming days as you take a look at some of the moments from the last three rounds between Manakian and Levitt. One or two surprises today and we'll be back to do it all again later on tonight with 20 more bouts, a 10 in each ring. And we welcome back the super heavyweights. All of that coming your way uh, from 7 o'clock later on tonight, live on your channel. They're living and breathing every moment of it here in Doha. And we're getting down to the business end of the tournament.